Hello there, Audrey Ann here, and in today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you a quick tip about your subject's clothing, because I'm going to share with you the three different colors that you should avoid having your subject wear when you're taking their photograph. Now, this is going to save you so much time in editing, and I don't like to spend a lot of extra time when I don't have to. So if you avoid these colors, it's just going to save you time. Now, if you can't, you can absolutely work around them, but if you avoid these in camera it's going to make your life so much easier now if you're new here hello my name is audrey ann from live snap love where i teach you the ins and outs of your camera so you can beautifully capture your children your family and your everyday life now you will find links to extra resources in the links underneath this video so be sure to check that out too but for now let's dive into those three different colors so the first color that you should avoid having your subject wear is this one, which is a clear red, so a really cl clear, bright red. Now, the reason we want to avoid this is that this kind of clear red color is really easy to clip the red channel. And what that means in practice is that this, anything in this kind of clear red color is going to clip. So it's not going to print well. You're just going to see a blob of color and you won't see any detail or any texture here. In other words, that whole color has been clipped and you'll see that both on images you share in the web and on images that you print. So we want to avoid this if at all possible so that we don't have that clipping. You can bring that back in post-processing, but it's really hard. So if you can, just avoid it. Also, this color tends to advance. So red is an advancing color, which means it can be the first thing you see. So if you have someone wearing this entire color from head to foot, you tend to see the color first rather than the person. So if you want to use this color, try and use it more as an accent color rather than a solid block, or you can actually just tone down the color. So use a slightly more muted tone of red rather than this bright, clear red. The second color to avoid your subject wearing is actually a range of colors. It is anything that is neon. So anything that is really bright, like a neon uh, pink, a neon yellow, or a neon orange. Now, the reason for that is when you have this up towards your subject's face, it is going to cause a color cast on the person you're photographing. So underneath your chin, you're likely to see this reflection of this color. Again, it can be removed in post-processing. It'll take you a minute in Photoshop. But the point is you'd have to do that for each and every image. And it's just giving yourself more work. So if you can avoid anything neon, do so. Make sure that it's not bright uh, orange, bright pink, bright yellow. And if you do have that, that it's away from the face, face and in smaller doses of color as well. And on to number three, our final one. Well, almost have a little bonus one at the end. So the third color is this, pure brilliant white. Now I love white. I think it's uh, an amazing color to wear. Unfortunately, in photographs, this white tends to clip. So you have to expose more for the white and that can tend to have the rest of the image looking underexposed. So again, when white clips, all you'll see is that blob of color rather than any texture or detail there. So you have to be really careful with your exposure in camera when photographing anyone wearing pure white. So if you can avoid it, do. So even just a slightly more muted color of white, like a, you know, an ecru or a, a, you know, a softer white or even a cream, that's gonna photograph so much easier. Now, obviously there are gonna be situations where you can avoid it, in which case just make sure that you get your exposure right in camera. Now I did say I was gonna add a bonus one on because the other one is pure black. So anything that is pure black is basically the same as pure white, but at the opposite end of the scale, it can tend to clip in the blacks. And that means, again, you get a blob of color or rather absence of color, and you won't see any or of the texture or of the detail in the black. And the worst thing is when you have white and black in one frame because they're opposite ends of the spectrum. So pure blacks over here, pure whites over here, and getting them both not to clip can be very difficult. 
Now, obviously, there are some situations where somebody might be wearing pure black and pure white. For example, a wedding, and you're not gonna manage to tell the bride not to wear white and the groom not to wear black. In which case, again, just be really careful with your exposure and expose in the middle so that you can bring back the whites and bring up the blacks. So that's it for today's tip. I hope you enjoyed it. Do make sure that you check out the Live Snap Love blog if you haven't already. We have hundreds of articles and tutorials on photography and editing. So do make sure that you check that out. You'll see a link to that in the description underneath this video. As usual, thank you so much for being here and for watching and I will see you guys next week.